all freaking good in the freaking neighborhood. All right. So, it's still enough to destroy the loth. That is all I care about. All I freaking care about. Destroying that loth. Get here, and you do the fish slap. Do it. Nice. What up, brothers and sisters, and welcome to MTG Malone with me, Mattress Malone. Thank you all so very freaking much for tuning in. We have some new patrons, members to thank off, so let's do that right away. While you're all still fresh, we have a new Zedra the Great Hearted, Drake L. Thank you so very freaking much for supporting the channel. And we have two new Gold Span Dragon, Man Ru a Man's Room Louis. Weird freaking name, but hey. It's okay. And James Brown, the sax machine himself. Well, I would be surprised if it was James Brown, the singer, but still very amazing. Now we have a Will Smith and a James Brown in the ranks. We have Cthulhu. All of the fine people, gods, and everything are here. Also, the meta is totally freaking fine. Oh, as soon as you play something with red in it, you will go against like freaking is it promised. Like... It is just a given. It is just a freaking given. Like, I have played with playtesting and the video 10 games with this deck. Even one more. Yeah, it was 11. It was 11 games. Eight from these games were up against Is It decks. Eight out of 11. Come on, wizards. Get your stuff together. I like variety, you know? That is why Alchemy in two days will be here and oh my lord, my video on the 9th will be late <clears throat> because it will be Alchemy. So yeah, tomorrow, one last day of this freaking disgusting matter. Just disgusting. You know somebody taking seven turns in a row? Come on, wizards. And they have enough support to do it. They make themselves treasures. They get themselves all of the good removal that you have right now. Like, just pushing you back. Even if you're on one life. One life. But you take seven turns in a row, you win. So, yeah. Come on, people. Don't you tell me that it's fine. Don't you freaking tell me that it's fine. But enough with the cry baby yammering. <laughs> Let's get into the Rectus hammering. This deck is amazing. And it works very well against extra turns. I don't know why, it just does. It is aggressive enough to just get there on turn 4 to 5, when they're just, you know, they push you back long enough, and then on turn 5, you get in there with hasty boys, hasty girls, just smash them freaking down. We have the Olivia in here, and it is just so good, because it's 3-4 with flying and haste, it brings something back like an Orcus. So now you get in there for 8 damage. Flying trample through the air. It is just super freaking good. We have the gold span dragon that can help us get even more mana. So if we have the trash out together with the Kalein and then we drop an Olivia, now she will be even freaking bigger and bigger. And that is all we freaking care about. Get in there for as fast as freaking possible and bring something back. Like the Orcus, the Amister, maybe another gold span dragon. You could also bring back a Kalein if you need the treasure. So it is very freaking nice. We have the Loaf. Because it's a black deck, and a black deck without a loaf is just not good. But why is this deck called Lie to Me, baby? Well, we have the Valkyrie here, the god of freaking lies. And then, as we can play it as Tibble, the Cosmic Imposter, on turn 5, without any freaking problems, thanks to our mana, uh, our treasure push here with the Deadly Dispute and the Kalein, it's going to be freaking amazing. The Shambling Guest gives us treasure, so we get a lot of freaking treasures very early, very fast. So turn 5, Tibble is very amazing you can steal a cat wagon with this and who doesn't want to do that you can see whatever creature they have with this and who does not want to do that well i know i do i like stealing from my opponents especially if they're as stupid as an extra turn stick that doesn't stop coming after us so Amistern Predator, also very good in this meta right now, because as soon as it attacks in, it exiles something from the graveyard so you can get rid of memory deluges you can get rid of i don't know the uh, double extras turn spell, I forget the name, Galvanic Iteration. I don't even want to know the name. I'm so annoyed by playing nothing but is it today. Oh my lord. And the Orcus 
just super good. So just imagine, you play the Orcus, you bring back a Valky from the grave, uh, from the graveyard, you steal something out of their hand, the Valky now can transform into that, it is just super freaking fun. And the rest of the deck is Hardcore Control, we have the Infernal Grasp, we have the Meathog Massacre for the creatures, we have the Path of Peril that in the later game we can play as a Cleave cost because we have these treasures, so it's all freaking good, and that's it. That is our control. The Deadly Dispute helps us draw, the Amazon Predator gets rid of the Graveyard together with the Hive the Eye Tyrant, Olivia and Goldspan Dragon are just attacking in without any worries once they come down, and just imagine that with the Olivia you bring back the Orcus, oh, disgustingly delicious. Just delicious. The Orcus also works as a tiny Meatok Masker, but you lose the life, so if your Meatok Masker is out and you play the Orcus, it's all good. It's all freaking good. Landwise, we have three Hives of the Eye Tyrant, five beautiful swamps, seven beautiful mountains, with the two Seer Step Polite Step Pathway. If people have been asking for the pathways, here they are. We have four Haunted Ridges and through Field of Ruin to get rid of whatever they want to slam at us. So this is a super nice deck. It is super good against aggressive decks and it is super good for some reason against Izzet decks. I have no clue why, but it just works out very, very well. So this lied to me, baby. I'm Max Malone, and I will see you in those Is It games. Tell me you love me. Tell me you lie. Tell me what you want, baby. What? Come to me tonight. Oh, oh yeah. I'll look at what you do. What's with my hair, by the way? We're going first. I like it. I like it a lot. Yes, yes. We got the Valky. I mean, we have a normal curve here. But together with the Deadly Dispute, we might get a very, very early a Gold Span Dragon. Oh, it's been the longest time I've been playing the Gold Span Dragon. I really missed him. Oh, my boy, what have they done to you in alchemy? Well, it's only fair. It is only totally freaking fair. I really am hyped for alchemy. Hello. Let's bring down Haunted Ridge right away. Oh, I should have done it differently. It didn't really matter, did it? It did not. Alright. So, we will see if we're up against an extra turn stack, which we totally are. Let's be honest here. Yes. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Alright. So, will they just be deadly disputing my uh, Valky God of Lies right away? Ah, uh, deadly disputing Fading Hope, I mean. Okay, they found the extra turn. They found their freaking extra turn. That is good for them. Not for us, though. So, sadly, because of my misplay before, we got to do it like this. But it's still okay. It is still absolutely okay. Because we will still get our gold span dragon next turn, so it's all I freaking care about. Alright. We're going with the deadly dispute here. And if we don't get a gold span dragon, we still get an Amherstone Predator, so that's also very much okay. Alrighty. All frittin' righty. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I couldn't care less, you know? I really, really couldn't care less. I think that might even have been a huge mistake, my friend. A huge frittin' mistake. Unless this is a counter spell, it was a huge mistake. I've got to tell you that right away. Right away. Alrighty. So, we could also bring down the Amstone Predator here. But does it really make sense? I don't think it does. Also, in case you were wondering why I haven't played the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. So the problem is they will just Dragon's Fire it. And I don't really want to, you know, lose it to the Dragon's Fire. So yeah. Alrighty. So, we're looking A-OK -okay here. Not gonna lie. I'm not Valky, I'm not gonna lie. So bringing down the Hive of the Eye Tyrant, just attacking in, like there is no tomorrow, making myself even more treasure. Yes, yes. So, now we can bring down the Valky even. Oh, delicious. Freaking delicious. Against this deck, a Valky is just amazingly good. Alright, what you gonna do, my friend? With your stupid extra turns deck, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, the expressive iteration. Yeah, I will keep that in my hand because I already played a land. So, yeah. Let's keep it. Oh, they're going to 
double behold the multiverse? It was a behold the multiverse? What is this? 2020? People playing the behold the multiverse? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. But they're still only on 5 mana maximum. So yeah, that is pretty good for us. Alright. So they might bring down a gold span dragon here. Destroy my Tybalt. That is a possibility. But we still have the Olivia, so that is also very, very nice. And they scoop! And they scoop! Get out of here! Extra freaking turns! Tier 3! Let's get into Mythic! In one single scoop! I don't think that I can do 12 games now. But still! Mmm! Mmm! People will keep on playing extra turns. As long as Wizards keeps on printing them. We're going first. What is this, Krimus? Alrighty. I like this hand, by the way. We have removal, we have a ramp. It's all good. All freaking good. So depending on what we draw here, maybe I'm even keeping my Valky. If I can get like a like a uh, deadly disc. No, not a deadly. Oh my lord, come on. Another extra turn deck. Just another freaking one. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's attack it first. Alrighty. Now we're playing the Valky just to have a look at their stupid extra turns hand. It's 2 for 2. Just so you know, my song about extra turns was right. People will keep on playing it. Well, it's almost extra turns, but only almost. Alrighty. So it can crush the weak in two turns, which is super annoying. Super annoying. But we're drawing what we need, so that is also very good. So we're just attacking in here. There's no need not to. Good, good. Unbelievable. So crush the weak, was it like, uh, exile the creatures as well? That would be bad, to say the least. Would be freaking bad. At least it's not extra turns, you know? That at least is good. Alright, they're keeping their crush the weak. Interesting. Are they playing the Delver here? They are. Interesting. Alright, eh? Well, your Delver must die. Die. The Kalein! I mean, they still do have the, uh, they still do have the Fading Hope. So let's just chill for now. We're just chilling. Just chilling. We have a Feel of Ruin to get rid of their Faceless Haven, so it's all good. There you go. There you go. Alright. But what else? Nothing. Just another one. Just another freaking one. Alright. We're doing this now. Just for as long as we can do it. We will be. So we're bringing down the... Uh, oh, we only have that. Oh my. Okay. I, I forgot. I forgot that these got exiled. But that is just what's happening. They got exiled. Alright. So they can just return it to my hand here. Can play the fire, play play with fire here, whatever they want to do. They don't want to do nothing. All right, I totally get that. I totally do. I'm bringing down the Amistad Predator here. Let us see what they're doing. They might return the Olivia. Oh my! Okay, interesting. Pretty interesting. So if they return the Olivia now, I can still bring it back later. So it's all good in the neighborhood, you know, as they say. Oh, I can already bring it back? Okay. Well, I forgot that it's also attacks. I forgot that it is also attacks. Oh, come on. Seriously? You got rid of both of them right away? That is just crazy. Freaking crazy. This fading hope. I hate it so much. I just hate it so much. Alright, I have no more creatures in my graveyard. But do I even need them? I don't think I do. Alright, there's no need to play any of these. 
Oh my lord, they really got rid of everything that I own. That is just painful. Freaking painful. Alright, they got another side coming here. Pretty sure they do. Pretty freaking sure that they do. Alright, no need to get the Field of Ruin out. Oh my! That one I like a lot. Alright. Good, they're not doing anything. So maybe it wasn't a side coming. Maybe it wasn't. We will have to find out. But this also means that I can have a Valky very soon. And I want to. Also, they're stuck on four mana. That is also very nice. Very nice. Alright, end the turn. Do nothing. If they, like, want to attack in here with the Faceless Haven, so be it. They don't have a red source. That is very good. But I do have an Infernal Grasp. Holy smokes, you were so annoying up until now. And I bet there's an extra turn somewhere in there. I bet. So. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I can still do this. And they scoop! They just scoop! Get out of here! I don't want to see Is it all day long. Give me something else. Come on, people. Play something else, but Is it? Mmm. All right, we're up against Equinox, the the horse rider. Opponent's going first. Well, what is this hand? What is this hand? What are we up against? Like the Taj Mahal? I will keep it. You know, there might be a reason. If we're up against Mono White here, this is the perfectest hand ever. And it's another extra turn stick. That is three for three. Three for three. Just extra turns, you know? Three in a row. Right away. Like, come on. Come on, game. I, I just said in the last game, I don't want to play only against Is It, But here we are. Playing nothing but Is It. Nothing but freaking Is It. Alright, let's try with the Valky here. I mean, if they have a counter spell, maybe they're using it, who knows? If they don't, they have, like, some form of other removal. Like, look at it. Look at it. Yes, yes. Okay. So there will be Spikefield hazarding here. My Valky, which exiles my Valky, which is super bad. Super freaking bad. But uh, sooner or later, we'll be able to get rid of this. So that is also very nice. But it gets plus X counter, so that is super bad. Oh, alright. Well, this is good. This is actually real good. So we will see what they have here. Are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? So they will, like, do nothing. Why should they? Like, seriously, why should they? But, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. That is good. That is real good. So, things still cost a normal price right here. But that is three is it decks in a row. Three. And they also have the Alchemist Gamut. So, yeah. Why should is not have, like, four freaking possibilities to take extra turns? Okay, it's only two. Only two. But, come on. Seriously. And now you're calling the new format Alchemy. Like, to spite us. Just to spite us. Alrighty. So, we are attacking in here. Like, why shouldn't we? And then we're deadly disputing, because, like, maybe we draw something good. And I don't want it to turn night, you know? That is nothing that I want. Alrighty. So, our Olivia is looking pretty tasty right now. Pretty tasty indeed, yes. Yes. And they will have to do something sooner or later. Oh, are you stuck on mana? Oh no, poor little baby. You're stuck on mana. Get screwed, my friend. That is what you freaking get for playing the freaking extra turn stacks. That is what you get. Making it cheaper and everything. Yeah, alright. So they're really, really stuck on mana. I love to see it. Love to freaking see it. What? No. If you have like another whatever, 
I don't want to run into that. Alrighty. So we're doing this. Because why the heck not? She will be very, very big and strong. We're getting in there for six. We're getting the Valky on the field. Taking another look at their hand. Jakub, you're mine. You are mine now. Good. Good. Oh my lord, I hate this deck so much. Hate it with a passion. With a freaking passion. They could return the Olivia to my hand, but what good would it do to them? Oh, if they weren't stuck on mana, you know, things would be very different. Very, very different. That much I can tell you. Yes, yes. That much I can really freaking tell you. They're not doing anything here. That is kind of perfect. Kind of freaking perfect. Alright, to put the counter on it. That is super annoying. I'm bringing down the Shambly boy. So things now cost one less, don't they? Yes, they do. Yes, they freaking do. Alright, we're getting in there. Like, they should really consider blocking here, you know? They really, really should. They just want to uh, return the, the, the Olivia to my hand. Which is also totally fine. You do that. But I will just sacrifice the Valky then. Good. Good. So, we're drawing cards here. We know exactly what they have. Like, we can just dance around them. Like, they were a fire or whatever. I, I have no clue what I was just about to say. So! Alrighty. Olivia back to my head. Does not really concern me one bit. Not one. They will block here. Alright. That's fine with me. And now I'm doing this. Get screwed. Get your Valdrig out of here. I don't want to see him anymore. I don't want to see him anymore. So, we're bringing down the Olivia next turn as well. All is good, you know. All is a freaking good. So, what you gonna do here? Are you using the Cindericlasm? Are you using... You can't use a Memory Deluge. You could Cindericlasm if you want to. Go ahead. You do that. Freaking do that. Cindericlasm right away. Couldn't care less. I just couldn't. So, what you gonna do? Here we go. Is it man? Person? Horse? Whatever you are? Alright, time for some Christmas chocolate. I got the Santa. I already ate a lot of it. So, yeah. While we're watching people just doing whatever they care. Uh, whatever they can. To disrupt us. But it's just too late. You not drawing mana for like four turns in a row. Even though you had two expressive iterations. Must have been brutal. Oh, delicious. This chocolate is just delicious. Just as delicious as beating this person. Nom 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 nom. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe you should have galvanic iteration, Dad. Maybe you should have. All right. Hmm. I mean, it can do this for one. Oh my. So. I will be attacking in here. Bring down the Kalein. Because that gives us a freaking treasure. So that is good already. And what are they going to do here? I don't know yet, but we will find out. I mean, they could still get us, you know? The problem here is that they're a freaking extra turn stack. One, two, three, four, five. And they just found the manas. So, yeah. Maybe they find some more manas. 
Who knows? But the Jakub could transform very soon, but then what? Yeah, there it is. There is the manas. So they were still super disruptive. Super freaking disruptive. All freaking day long. But if they just don't do anything here, that is kind of fine with me. Kind of freaking fine. So, we're getting in there for 5, and then 8, so it's all good. I mean, it could go Galvanic Iteration into freaking uh, Cinderclasm. But that would still deal him 3 freaking damage. So, we just need to be smart about it, you know? Just freaking smart. Come on, transform. Transform right away. Yes! That was your death sentence! What have you done? What if... Okay. They could not not cleave it. They could not not cleave it. That means if they cannot kill me here, they kill themselves? Is that what I'm seeing here? Yeah, because you cannot play the cleave cost if you're playing it for free. And that is what is up. Or if you could, that would be totally freaking busted. Totally freaking busted. So, Equinox, taking extra turns, where does it bring you? Nowhere. I have coffee, I have chocolate, I'm watching you doing nothing for the last 10 minutes. Mm -mm -mm. Oh my lord. Like, seriously. Seriously. You're a go. You're a freaking go. What are you doing? The Gavanic iteration, 2, 4, 5, it's still not enough. It is still not enough. You still die after this turn. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Make me some treasure. That is absolutely fine with me. I want that treasure. Yes. Give it to me. Give me the treasure. Alright. Am I sacrificing the Olivia here for the treasure? I mean, I'm getting one treasure back. So, yeah. And if I draw like a land or something like that, that is also alright. They still lose! They still freaking lose! To the freaking Alchemist's Gambit! Yeah, way to kill yourself, my friend. Come on! Play freaking magic! Do it! Play magic! I want you to! Alright, and now it's my turn, and they're done, so... Boom! Explode! Freaking explode! Come on, you're a go! Just don't be like that. Don't you be like this. Come on. Come on. Come on. Exactly. Freaking exactly. Unbelievable. Like, how much fun do we have? Three is it takes in a row? Mmm. Delicious. Get them all. Freaking out of here. Alright, but now it really should be enough, okay? That has been like three extra turns in a row. Oh no, if you're so high up in the rankings, you're still playing extra turns. I know it. We go in first. We don't have like a red mana yet, but we like this hand a lot. With we are mine, I mean we. I'm mine. I was just like germining it up here. <laughs> oh, come on, game. Like seriously, are you kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Ah, oh, come on. Like, that is the fourth in a row. I told you there were extra turns. I freaking told you. Give me a red mana here. Come on. Be cool, game. Well, it's not a red mana. But it is something, you know? Will we need this Meatok Masker? I don't think we do. Alright. Let's do it like this. Make ourselves a treasure. So that if we find a red mana... At least we can bring down a gold spend dragon next turn, and that is very much okay to me. Alright, there's the expressive iteration. So if we do find a red mana here, we're super good. At least we found a mana, you know? But that is four is it decks in a row. Four. That is just crazy. Freaking crazy. But here we go with a gold span dragon. So what you gonna do now? What you gonna do now? Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. 
Alright, they have no way of destroying it right away. We're getting in for some more damage, which is very good. We can also activate the Eye of the Eye Tyrant if we really want to. So, not doing anything I reckon. Yes. Yes. That is right. That is freaking right. Alright. We're just trying with another one. I mean, why the heck shouldn't we? It is a lot of freaking damage coming their way. So, do you have the, uh, the counter spell? Do you have the divide by zero? What do you have? What? The counter spell. Okay. That means that it's not a freaking extra turn. That is really good already. I like it. I really do. Okay. And now we are bringing down the Kalein. Because it is another treasure on the board. And if they wipe the board here, that is two more damage coming their way. So, divide by zero won't save you here, my friend. Just won't freaking save you. I mean, uh, the Javari disruption. So here comes a board wipe. Yes. Did I expect it? Yes. Yes, I did. I totally freaking did, didn't I? I told you they were playing it right here, right now. Alright, the Amistern Predator. Can we play both? We can! Oh, beautiful. Freaking beautiful! And we will! We freaking will! Alrighty! So, what you gonna do here now, my friend? I mean, we haven't won yet, you know? We're still struggling. But this is the fourth extra turn deck in a row. The fourth. We're playing four games. Four is it decks? So much for variation, you know? So much for it. Alrighty. So what have you got here, my friend? I hope nothing. I hope you just got nothing. But they have a divide by zero. One million percent. Oh my, this is good. This is very good. This is very, very good. These... Get out of here! Extra turn stack! Oh my lord! Come on, game! Four games in a row against the same archetype. Well, one was different. One was a Delver deck. But the rest is just only extra turn stacks. Four in a row! Get out of here! Oh, it is so much fun to play nothing. But is it? Come on, game. Get out of here. This is just bananas. Just freaking bananas. Alright, we will have a very early Amistone Predator, and I like that a lot. Oops. Sorry. What? Why did they oops me? Why? I really don't get it. Will I go for the gold span dragon? Oh. Oh! Alright, well, it does not concern me one bit. Not one. Alright. Am I going with the Orchid? Nah, I'm going with the Amazon Predator. It is just a little bit better, you know? Alright, we're not attacking in. Because we need this Kalein to block. Uh, not to block, to, uh, to, to protect our Amistone Predator. Block, yeah, right. <laughs> As if I would be blocking here with that. So, we're still stuck on mana a little bit, so that is no bueno. No bueno at all. The eye twitch, right away. Alright. Give me a freaking black source, please. That is no black source. That is just no freaking black source. Alrighty. Well... We will be getting rid of their eye twitch here, but that is just not enough. If we're now stuck on lands and lose because we're stuck on lands after we beat four is it decks in a row, oh, that would be painful. That would just be pain. Yeah, that is what I thought. That is what I freaking thought. That is why I really needed that freaking black mana here. I really needed it. Nice. Freaking nice. Well, I did my best, you know. Oh, well, at least now we kind of found it. Kinda. Pay zero. Confirm. And if we find one more mana here, we're good, you know? Because then we can play our gold span dragon into Olivia, which is also very nice. Could go with the Loth. Well, they go with their own Loth. I still hope that we can find... Oh, well, we can still do it. So it's all good in the neighborhood. All freaking good in the freaking neighborhood. All right. So... 
It's still enough to destroy the loaf. That is all I care about. All I freaking care about. Destroying that loaf. Get here, and you do the fish slap. Do it. Nice. I like it. All right. So we go with the loaf here. The more pressure we can build up, the better. The Edgar. All right. But the Edgar alone is not doing too much now, is it? Freaking is it? No, it is not, is the answer. The answer is no. So. But we have only this in exile. We have nothing in our graveyard right now, but we will get stuff in our graveyard. The Fell Stinger, that is a pretty good, like, combination of things to do, you know? We're gaining some life, though. We get down with the Gold Span Dragon. Oh. Malone does not care about your thing. It just, we don't freaking care. So let me see here. Five, nine. Alright, that is alrighty. Did we get him here? Do we freaking get him here? I think we do! Yeah, we freaking do get him here! Alright, we attack in with everything. And if they block, they're dead. <laughs> Just freaking dead. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Yes. Yes. So let me count once more. 13, yes. They're just, they're just dead. They're just freaking dead. Get freaking out of here. Everyone. I don't care about your deck. Mine is just superior. Mmm. Get them all freaking out of here. I'm so happy that we played something that wasn't a freaking is it deck right here. And look at us. We went 5 to 0 oh, once more. Just get out of here, everyone. Mm. Mm. Isn't the matter fun right now? Oh, yes, it is. Is it? It is not. It is not. I'm, I'm, I'm being honest here. I'm very displeased with the matter right now. I was never more annoyed with one single card, Galvanic Iteration. If it wasn't for the Galvanic Iteration, is it wouldn't be this strong right now. There was just, there is enough you can do, you know? If you're like playing enough removal and stuff like that, but what are you supposed to do? The only thing you can do is play is it yourself. And that is why people are doing it. So maybe you win, maybe you lose in the counter in a mirror match. That is just what it is. But out of five games, we beat four is a deck. So hey, we still got them freaking all. One Orzov deck, that was pretty cool. But before we get into the wrap up, I've got to go to my 100 people list of patrons and I'm so happy about it. So from the bottom of my heart, I want to say special thanks. Starting with Mazato the Great Hardest, Randy Campbell, John, Chris Stevens, Tom Tom, Vincent Mage, Vicky White, John Vaff, Philippe Rodriguez, TS, Jeremy, my friends, so Mike, Grey Wolf, Unmercy88, Steve O, Jonathan Norton, MT, Back, Morphe, Luis, Felipe Sanz Perez, Jerry Teleskevich, Arbitukin, and Leland Juan, Jose Ceron, Marcario Frescas, Calipor, Troy Graham, Court Du, Bandages, Demander, Oran, Jefferson, Perito, Simon Blood, Doc Vorpal, Chad Riverick, Billy Basham, Christian Rudick, Aeon, Jake the MTG, Snake, Danny Montgomery, Lucas Timmer, Jay Jackson, Arim, Azek, Chart and Trainer, Rumi Ganaf, and Drake L. The special thanks are Gold Span Dragons, Waffles, Randy K. Donald T. Jen Newman, Simster 65, William White, Rico Colombaroli, Marco Marino, your boy Big Bizzle, Mr. Matt, David Tate, James Wade, Monkey Rage, Jack Top, Jeff Meyer, Phil, Double OG, Raven, Raven, Chipster, Nerd, Paul English Wolf, Anima, Cthulhu in Letter, Silas Fox, Nick Bob, Tim Novitsky, Odorific, Dan Martinez, Kevin Pratt, Matt D, Isaiah MB, Trent Reese, Man's Room, Louis, and James Brown. And a special thanks to Nico Bolus, God Pharaohs, Earl, Chris Katowski, Randolph, William Smith, Ario Wolf, The Lacrime, Brian O'Reilly, Malchija, Quicks and Deal, and Jonathan Zawa. You guys and gals and old gods are pretty freaking sweet. Indeed. I really appreciate that you go on the XMI supporting channel with your hard-earned cash. And if you want to check out the Patreon and membership, there is now a weekly Malone update. Only for my patrons and members. The Maloney X Monday. You can check the link down below every single video. You will get access to that. There's a button below every video. So yeah. And I think that if you go to my videos, YouTube is even asking you. But if you don't have any hard-earned cash to share... Don't you worry about it, sweet summer child. There's other ways to support the channel like subscribing. 
It is free. So you can sense in my mood. Now I'm very, very tired of playing against these Izzet decks. It is just no fun at all, you know? I mean, we won. And still it feels so sad. It's just disgusting, you know? Just freaking disgusting. It is... I mean... Why couldn't they just freaking do something against this archetype once they realized that... What, 60% of the decks in the Innistrad Championship were this deck? The exact this deck? And the rest, like, another 30% were variations of that deck? Oh, come on, wizards. Just once. Get your head out of the sweet behind where you're hiding it and do something for the player base. We don't care if it gets banned. We want it to happen. We're not sad about it. The only people who are sad about it are people who say, well, then there will only be mono white. That's wrong. That is just wrong. There's so many archetypes getting pushed away from is it extra turns that you will never be able to play. There's no more mid range. It's just gone. Mid range is dead right now. The only mid range kind of deck is mono green. And the only reason that you can play that is because it's aggressive enough. You know? It has turn 2, turn 3 plays that are just aggressive enough, and it has snakeskin veils. If it weren't for the snakeskin veils, you could not play mono green. If it weren't for the 4-4 uh, trample haste creature, the Ulvenwald oddity, you couldn't even play mono green. It is just super, super sad right now. You know, I know, I could be playing best of 3 and prepare myself and everything, but I'm a best of 1 channel. And I will be playing alchemy. Like, I will be playing the heck out of alchemy. So I'm very hyped for alchemy, and uh, yeah, I think a lot of people are. Especially if you're watching this channel, like, every day or twice, like, a week or three times a week, you will see how many games I play against freaking Izzet decks. It is just disgusting. Just disgusting. It is about deck variety. Yes, I beat a lot of them. But I know how to play against this deck, okay? It is just what it is. But you know, it is just so boring. So freaking boring. Boring. They have to like adapt to the new status. People now are playing a lot of more magic. And they should listen to those people. I know that alchemy is like their answer to our prayers here. And alchemy is going to be amazing. I know it. You know it. And if you don't like alchemy, well, I'm sorry for the next few weeks. But until the new set comes out, I will focus on freaking alchemy so hard. Like nothing else. I will build the most amazing decks. Like cards you hate will be even worse than before. Or better. Like for if you're playing up against them it's going to be better. But they're going to be worse. Like if you double up your extra turns. No more birds for you. No more birds for you. That is so good. And the Auron's Epiphany costing 7 no matter what is just so good. So what are they going to do? If they foretell it after they like reduce the price, the foretell cost will still be the same. So that is going to be amazing. The cat wagon, only making you one cat now. That is so good, you know? Because against one creature you might have a removal, but against two, well, tough. Pretty tough. Zombies is going to get better. Like mono white is going to... Mono red. Mono red will be coming back. Freaking finally, people like Mono Red, like I do, I like all archetypes, I want to be able to play all archetypes, and not just three, only be able to play three decks is just so freaking boring. I would play rogues a million times over is it extra turns right now, a million times, yes you heard me, rogues, rogues was more fun to play against, because somehow you could have like, you know, at least do something, but against extra turns, at a certain point, you just sit there, drink your coffee, and watch them take a million extra turns in a row. Like, I have people that played like 9 to 10 extra turns. How is that normal? How is that fair? How is that the kind of magic people want to play? If you like winning, alright, I guess that is fine. You can play the deck. But if you like variety, then well, you're screwed. And you know, as a garden creator, I like variety. 
I like building decks that have a chance. But if you don't have any chance as soon as it turns it turns out to be turn 7. You just always lose as soon as it turns 7. What does that say about the matter? Exactly. It is a shite. So, enough ranting. I had to get it off my chest once more. Stupid extra turn take like 4 out of 5 today. 4 out of 5. Come on, wizards. And that is the matter right now. Nobody can tell me anything different. Alright, this has been my rant. Free for you. Cost you nothing. You got it for free. The word of the day is Crimson Pride. So if you put down the Crimson Pride down in the comments, I would be very happy. I'm Matches Malone, and I will see you all tomorrow.